Hey guys, welcome to Safi Mixed. In this video, I'm discussing two very important concepts related to the expectation value of momentum of a particle and infinite potential well. Although the mathematical procedure of the problem is very straightforward, but still, in the first part of this video, I will mathematically prove that the expectation value of momentum is always zero and will subsequently provide the physical base to this vanishing expectation value. In the second part, I will prove that the expectation value of the square of momentum is never zero and will explain the physics behind this never vanishing value of the square of momentum. So I begin to find the analytical expectation value of momentum with respect to the wave function of standard infinite potential well. The wave function for standard infinite potential well is given by this one relation. That's we know from our previous videos where A is the width of the potential well and X is the instantaneous position of the particle inside the well. We further know that the expectation value of momentum is obtained by sandwiching the operator form of the momentum between the conjugate of the wave function and a wave function and then integrating over the width of the well, like I'm writing over here. Uh, since the wave functions for all values of quantum number n are real, Therefore, taking the conjugate of the corresponding wave function is, in fact, meaningless. However, we follow the standard procedure. Now, uh, I can take minus iota h bar to the left of the integral and substituting the values for psi steric n and psi n, I can rewrite the relation into this one form. Now, I can combine the two terms containing square roots, 2 divided by a together, and can take that out of the integral, and I'm writing this, that as 2 divided by a to the left of the integral. Then the rest equation takes this one form, and applying the derivative of position to the sine function, convert the function into cos function, and extract n pi divided by a from the argument of sine function which i am writing to the left of this integral as n pi divided by a inside the brackets now using the trigonometric relation sine of x times cos of x equals half of sine of 2 of x and if i use that relation i can rewrite the integrand in the form of sine function like i'm writing over here now it is straightforward to integrate this function with respect to x which results in cos 2 m pi divided by a x and extracting from the argument a divided by 2 n pi which again i'm multiplying with the terms at the left so if we substitute the limits now now we can simplify the constant terms inside different set of brackets i can cancel the terms too in the numerator and denominator similarly i can cancel the width a in the numerator and denominator and can finally reduce the multiplicative terms to minus iota h bar times 1 divided by 2a times cos 2 n pi minus cos 0. Since cos 2 n pi equals 1 and cos 0 equals 1, therefore the terms inside the last set of brackets is 0, which reduces the whole result equal to 0. This means that the expectation value of momentum of a particle inside an infinite potential well is always zero. This zero result leads to two very important questions. Number one, why should the expectation value of momentum be always zero? And number two, how do we understand this zero value of momentum physically? So let me first answer the first question. 
if the theorem inside the last brackets were not zero the expectation value of momentum would have been imaginary due to the presence of iota in the last result remember an imaginary value of a measurable quantity is not physically acceptable because to be measurable a physical quantity must be real due to this reason the expectation value of momentum vanishes now let me answer the second question this can heuristically be answered in classical notion during its back and forth motion the particle velocity is symmetrical that is the particle traverses each point inside the well twice in a period once in forward direction and once in backward direction this periodically forward and backward motion lead to zero expectation value of momentum in other words as much time the momentum is positive as much times the momentum is negative and hence the expectation value of momentum inside the well is zero okay now let us see what happens to the expectation value of the square of momentum is it also equal to zero to answer this question let us calculate it analytically the expectation value of the square of momentum can be expressed in the form of this one integral that is we sandwich the square of the operator of momentum inside the conjugate of the wave function and wave function and integrate the whole integral with respect to position x now if i square minus iota h bar it gives me minus h bar square and i take that out of the integral and write it to the left of it and then integrate the whole term into this one form i can rewrite d by dx whole square in the form of d by dx times d by dx and can rewrite this into this final form now let us apply the derivative to the wave function and find the loss term inside the integral that is i want to find d by dx times d psi n divided by dx which takes this one form where i have just substituted the value of the wave function and if i find the derivative of the sine function it would produce cos function and from the argument of sine function it will extend in pi divided by a which i multiply with square root 2 divided by a like in this one relation and then again applying the derivative to cos function will extend a negative sign which i am writing it uh, right after the equal sign and will convert the cos function into sine function and will extract from the argument of kind of cos function n pi divided by a which i am multiplying with the previous n pi divided by a term making it a square of n pi divided by a and i call this equation 3 now if i substitute this value back into equation 2 the expectation value of the square of momentum can be written as 2 divided by a n pi divided by a whole square integral from 0 to a sine square n pi divided by a times x dx where i have multiplied the two sine functions inside the integral and have written them as the square of sine function now using trigonometric relation now this integral can be split into two parts like i'm doing in the next step and the solution of the second integral is again a repetition of the previous case and i can finally put the result into n pi h bar divided by a whole squared you see the expectation value of momentum is zero but the expectation value of the square of momentum is not zero this should be so because this result is consistent with the fact that the kinetic energy of the particle is given by k equals average value of the square of momentum divided by 2m and if i substitute the value i can 
put the equation into n square pi square h bar square divided by 2 m a squared which is equal to the total energy we have previously calculated in our previous videos and is also in agreement with the zero point energy of the particle. At the end, if you haven't subscribed to Safi Max, kindly support the channel through your valued subscription. Thanks for watching.